This category is what I like to call my truly shelf-stable category, meaning that none of these need to be placed into refrigeration. They're able to be merchandised out at room temperature. They do not have a shelf life, or at least they have a very extended shelf life, up to six months. The first one is a summer sausage. Originally, it is a German sausage that we called Bauernwurst, but Americans have been making it and making it very well. It's something that I was able to produce kind of with the American style flavor profile. You know, I made it really, really tangy. I put lots of garlic, lots of smoke. Uh, so it's fermented, meaning it gets sour, and I made that tang very lactic and very flavor forward, kind of what you would get from a traditional American summer sausage, and I smoked it really, really hard. I also hand dip these inside of food grade wax like you would on a cheese. Um, the wax on the outside of these should be removed before consuming as well as the casings. They are very, very delicious. They are flavored with garlic, whole mustard seeds, and a little bit of oregano. The next three are my pepperettes. These are my answers to a Slim Jim, if you know what I mean. They are just smoked pork sticks that are not fermented, so I spice them with fresh spices, garlic, we smoke them, and then we cook them to 170 degrees and then we run air over them for about 10 hours to get them to dry out very similar to a, uh, any pepperoni stick that you have. These, however, have very high quality spices and of course high quality pork. Um, I do three different flavors. Flaco Paco is my Spanish version of this. It is sweet paprika, smoked paprika, garlic, and oregano. I do Kleine Schweine, which is kind of my answer to a Landjäger. Um, it is caraway, coriander, black pepper, and chili flake. The Petit Pierre is my French version of this. It comes from the mountain region of the Jura. It has white pepper, juniper, and red wine. It's smoked and also dried.